Good day guys, in this video, me and my friend are going to talk about chapter 1.1, .1, Atoms and Molecules. Now my friend Chan is going to talk about the right side of this mind map, passing it to Chan. Uh, hello guys, this is my discussion with my friend today. And my name is Chan Kai Tong, you can call me Chan, and my friend is Chong. Do you see atoms and molecules? Now I will discuss about atoms and molecules. And you will see a table right over here, consists of proton, neutron, and electron. The relative mass for the proton is 1, same go with the neutron. But for the electron, the electron is the lightest particle in an atom. The relative mass for the electron is 1 over 1840, is likely to be 0. For the relative charge, the proton has a positive 1, but for the neutron, is 0. The relative charge for the electron is negative 1. Now we will move on to the definition for proton, neutron, and electron. For the proton, proton is a positively charged particles in the nucleus of an atom. While neutron is an uncharged particles found in the nucleus of an atom. For the electron, electron is negatively charged particle in the nucleus of an atom. Uh, okay, now we will move on with the isotope notation. Do you see here got a big symbol? Writing with X in the middle and A and Z. Iso now I will tell you about the definition for isotope notation. Isotope notation shows the number of proton, neutron, and electrons in an atom. For the symbol of X, X is a symbol of an element. For example, the X can be written for Na if the element is sodium. For the A, the A is the nuclear number. The nuclear number is the total number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus of an atom of an element. For the Z, Z is the proton number. The definition for the proton no number is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom of an element. You see over, you see a circle right top of the X. The circle means that if there is a charge, the, there will be positive charge. If the zero, if the circle here is my negative, means that the element have more electrons. Now we'll move on to the isotope. Definition of isotope is the atom of the same element with the same number of protons, but different number of neutrons in an atom of the element. That's all from me. Thank you. Alright, so now I'm going to talk about the left part of this mind map, which consists of relative atomic mass, AR, relative molecular mass, MR, and also mass spectrum, and how to calculate the average atomic mass. Alright, so let's get started. First of all, I will introduce about what is relative atomic mass, AR. Relative atomic mass, AR, is defined as the ratio of the mass of atom of an element to one twelfth of the mass of an atom of carbon-12. Relative atomic mass can be said to be equal to the nuclear number of an element. For example, by referring to the periodic table of elements, we know that the AR of magnesium is 24 because the nuclear number of magnesium is 24. On the other hand, we have the relative molecular mass, MR. Relative molecular mass is defined as the ratio of the mass of the molecule to one twelfth of the mass of an atom of carbon-12. For example, say we want to find the relative molecular mass of carbon dioxide, CO2, we can just sum up the relative atomic mass of the atoms inside CO2 as shown in the working here. Alright, moving on to the next topic, we have the mass spectrum. Mass spectrum is the plot of relative abundance over mass. Here's an example of mass spectrum of a sample of boron. As we can see here, on the y-axis, we have the relative abundance, qi, in percentage, while on the x-axis, we have the mass per charge of mass, mi, in atomic mass unit, amu. The numbers level on the x-axis is the mass of each isotope. Meanwhile, the numbers level on the bar there is the relative abundance of each isotope. So from this mass spectrum, we know that boron has two isotopes, namely boron-10 and boron-11 with the relative abundance of 80% and 20% respectively. Now with these data, we can calculate the average atomic mass of boron by using this formula, sigma qi mi over sigma qi. The symbol sigma means sum of. From the data, we have 80 times 10 plus 20 times 11 over 80 plus 20. We will get 1020 over 100. Press the calculator and we will get 10.2 AMU. Alright, that's all from us. I hope you all learned something from this video. Thanks for watching.